I am Joe DiMatteo of the Ask the Pharmacist Group. Progesterone Part 3 in our little mini-series on progesterone, the benefits of progesterone. This is going to be a little tougher because these were a lot of research pieces that I pulled, so I'm going to try to just read them, skim them over, and give you some insights. Progesterone, hormone research, 1987, documented, as this was done in Paris, France, that progesterone has anti-estrogen type effects on the body. So it protects women from excessive estrogen stimulation. Number two, Journal of Fertility and Sterility, 1998, Liege, Belgium, looked at estrogen and progesterone on human breast cell lines. And they looked at women and they did biopsies when they exposed them to estrogen, estradiol, and then exposed them to progesterone. And I want to make this simple. What the results showed that when they applied estrogen to the breast tissue, it increased the number of cycling epithelial cells, which means there was more activity, which indirectly means it could potentially raise the risk of breast cancer. What they found with progesterone, when they applied progesterone along with the estrogen, it reduced the total number of cycling epithelial cells, which shows a protective effect. I've been preaching this for almost 20 years. Progesterone's misunderstood. It's protective. Many women are deficient. A lot of it because of environmental types of exposures, etc. But we clearly saw that women, the, the breast tissue that was exposed to progesterone for 14 days prior to a surgical procedure, this tails on to, dovetails on to the one I spoke of in, in progesterone too, that estrogen, the number of estrogen-induced proliferating cells was dropped by the progesterone. Progesterone, protective. Progesterone benefits. Involuntary delayed first, brist, uh, first uh, birth. They looked at the risk and benefit. The, the longer a woman was exposed to progesterone, the more protective effects, the less breast cancer incidences. Progesterone. It's your friend, friend gals. You got to get to know what your numbers are. You've got to evaluate that we have tools to help you do that. You can call our toll-free number. You can go to our website, askjod.com. But understanding and knowing whether you're a 24-year-old or a 34-year-old or a 48-year-old entering menopause or you're postmenopausal, you, get, you have to know what the role of progesterone is and the benefits. God bless you. Thanks for being with us. See you on the next Health Minute.